Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit, and welcome to anyone who's just dropping in for the first time, and welcome back to all my subscribers. And I am enjoying my pajama day. I, I did wake up with a pretty bad headache, not quite migraine, but kind of migraine level almost. Um, I think I probably was clenching my teeth in my sleep because it was all centered on the back of my head, more like the tension headache stuff. So right now I'm in that, that loopy post headache hangover stage where it's almost like I've just been given and some IV pain medicine. I mean, physically I feel loopy, mentally I feel a little bit loopy, but it's getting better. Um, I have my mix of whatever my fake powdered coffee is, I can't remember what brand it is, um, and hot cocoa. And so I've got some caffeine and sugar in my system now with my, my lovely oh crap cup. So, this is Sunday, and there goes my alarm. <coughs> Hang on just a second. All right, sorry about that. I had to make sure that my alarm didn't turn off the recording like it did last time. So, this is Sunday. I'm just chilling out, working on my blanket. I have finally passed the nightmare of the stage where I had to keep... Um, knitting and tinking and knitting and tinking, and I swear I was just going to change my name to Tinkerbell at one point. To pass that, I'm just kind of chilling out, mellowing that. Every time I get it out to work on it, because it's long enough that... Let me show you. Um, okay, so it's touching the floor right now, as you can see. There we go. Cat toys rolling around. Um, it's getting long enough, you know, so I cover up my legs with it when I am knitting. And that, of course, is the cue for my cats to come fight over who's going to sit on my lap and keep me from knitting. But, you know kitty cuddles are what I need today anyway. So, I am, you know, we're in the last little countdown, you know, where all the, the last little minute things that are going to go wrong are in that phase of going wrong, like my suitcase that I borrowed from my sister. If I extend the handle, which you're going to do it as you're pulling it through the airport, it gets stuck with the handle all the way up, and the only way to get the handle to go down is to open the suitcase, take everything out, and zip the back flap, push these little buttons to get it go down. And then push the buttons, and then that will let the handle go down. So that's not going to work. Um, sorry, cats are crackhead mode. Um, I am borrowing a suitcase from my friend David. So um, I'd ask if he got out moving around today to if he could drop it by, but he's probably taking his own pajama day hanging out at, at home. Um, I'll just pick it up Tuesday night when I drop Max and. The TV and all my yarn and, and everything that I, I don't want to take the my microwave. Anything I don't want the chance of my crackhead drama neighbors or whatnot stealing, breaking into stealing, is going to David's house. I do have renter's insurance, but, you know, there's no point in tempting people. Um, so I'm getting all my stuff, you know, getting where everything ready that I'm taking with me, including um, what projects I'm going to be working on while I'm down there. Tomorrow... I have a therapist appointment, which Little Miss isn't going with me on this one just because I also have the, I almost said the vet, I have my doctor's appointment after that, and they don't mind if I bring, you know, the you know, emotional support animals, I would, they're just like, we don't bring the letter, but I'm like, it's just too much of a hassle tomorrow. So we are um, doing that tomorrow, that's the only thing I have scheduled. Tuesday, my sister has her doctor's appointment, and then she is coming over, leaving her pickup with me for the night. I'm going to then drive her home to Choctaw, and that way, Wednesday morning, because we have to be, the flight's at 7.30, so we have to be there at 5.30, and it's about a half hour drive from my sister's house to the airport, which means we have to leave Choctaw by 5, and they decided it would be easier for me to drive out there as opposed to them go a little bit out of the way to come here on the way into the airport but um so I had to leave to be at my sister's house by 5 I have to leave here by 4 30 which means I've got to get up by 4 so yeah yay um but we're down the last little bit but not so um I do have my crochet projects ready I'll, I'll post the links to these patterns they're kind of cute I think of course you know I have a medical background and a warped sense of humor so these, I've got some crochet projects I'm making for my medical doctor who I will be seeing. I love my medical doctor. He is awesome. 
Um, he's the dean at, so he still teaches, so, you know, he's not one of these old school, if it wasn't printed in, you know, textbooks 50 years ago, it's not worth doing type doctor. He actually listens. I'm an active participant. We sit there and discuss lab results and potential treatments and medications, and we decide together, and that is the best kind of doctor to have because you have to be an active participant in your treatment. I sat there and watched my mom for so long. You know, she was in that generation where, you know, doctors are God, you don't question them. And she would get doctors that weren't that great or that would not understand her condition because she had syringomyelia, which is a spinal cord, you know, dysfunction type, whatever thing, but not many people know about it. And so they're like, I mean, she had seven, she had two, two millimeter, seven, I think two millimeter cysts in her brainstem or they're not a spinal cord, but it's so high, but her spinal cord is in her brainstem. Which causes her a lot of pain. I mean, you, there's not a lot of room for things to grow in your brainstem without causing problems. But she actually had a doctor one time tell her, well, I think your pain's all in your head. And I, thankfully, at that point, I was going to my doctor, my mom's doctor appointment with her. And I looked at the doctor, and I'm like, damn right, it's all in her head. She's got two millimeter cysts. You know, this or whatever. I'm not sure the size of it. It's the size of a pencil eraser. But, like, we can see it on MRI. We know it's physically it's there. It's not subjective. It is objective. Of course, the pain's in her head. That's where her brain is. Um, dumbass doctor sometimes, but she did, you know, eventually we did find good doctors, but you know, I'm an active participant. So anyways, but I like, anyway, I'm so ADHD out there the thawazi today. Anyway, so I am making some projects for my doctor. I found, it's a crochet stomach. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it's cute and it looks simple. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And then, um. We have heart and brain, and we have an anatomical heart, and then, of course, you have a blood cell. Blood cell. Now, this, I mean, it's not, this isn't a specialist doctor. This is just, you know, general internal medicine, but, you know, I think he'd, he'd think it's funny. His, his office would think it's funny. So, and then, for knitting projects, I have, I love Doctor Who, and I so am in love with David Tennant as Doctor Who, the 10th Doctor. My favorite doctor. Um, I miss him so much. Anyway, it's a TARDIS disc, disc cloth. And then and the other one is Don't Blink. So I'm going to do those. The one, the last time I did a washcloth that had like words in it or whatnot, it was more of a, a cutout pattern for like the words. And so it didn't show up as well. Because this is textured on the knitting. I'm, I'm hoping it shows up better. Um, but those are my projects. And then of course, you know, for the, the crochet projects, I'm bringing my... Um, my eBay yarn. These are all acrylics, if I remember correctly. But you know, I get those. But then for the knitting one, I know. Okay, I know it's a dishcloth, and dishcloths are supposed to be made out of cotton. But just because it says it's a dishcloth doesn't mean you have to use it as one. So I'm using this. Is I get this from Michaels, and um, I had this at the bottom of a storage tote and forgot I had it. But it's the Craftsmart Never Enough, and it it is kind of stiff. I mean. I don't know working with it. I think it gets a little bit softer, but I've got a ton of that. Um, and so, and I mean, it's 100% acrylic. So I'm going to take that down, and that's what I'm going to be working on, you know, because I mean, yeah, you, it's vacation, but there's dead time. I mean, this is, it's vacation for me, but for my sister, it's more like she's going back home. This is, she, up until the last 18 months or so, she had spent most, she would be down to Mexico for six months and then she'd come back up for a couple weeks and then go back down to Mexico for six months. She was pretty much living there, but, um, she had some issues, you know, with, you know, her, the brain soup type thing, you know, where she's had to get help and get on medication, which is all that's new to her. So she had a hard time down there. So she hasn't been down in Mexico for a while. So, you know, it's been vacation for me, but it's going for home for her. But so that it's not, we're not going to be going 100%, you know, all day, every day, there's going to be downtime. Time, you know, where maybe I wake up before she does or I stay up later than she does and I want to you know, work on something or just time when I need to chill. Um, so, you know, I'll have craft projects. I don't figure I'm going to do all of them, but at least I have options of different ones to do. The one thing I'm looking forward to is there is a park right by the, um, I, it's a park, kind of like a town square type, whatever thing. Um, just like a block from her apartment or a couple blocks it'd be closer except the way it is there's a cemetery there but you can't cut through the cemetery you have to walk all the way around it 
but they had, at least last time I was down there, every evening they would have festival. I mean, the last time I was there for like the entire six weeks, almost the entire six weeks, they had amusement park rides, um, which we went on some of those and had fun. But there's usually something going on with little food cart stalls and different things. And it's, I guess she said it's something they pretty much just do routinely. Um, so I'm looking forward to that because a low taste. The little corn with the mole and then the crema and went on a stick it is so good and I used to see a place here in the city that would advertise it but I can't find it now but I'm looking forward to that and then you know of course looking for you know local handmade yarn or you know local yarn or whatnot you know see the different options down there so anyway I'm rambling again so my next project that I'm going to do, I'm going to work on doing a tutorial of uh, the, uh, the Loom Knit Cow. And, you know, just kind of like an oversized tube scarf. Like I made, for the one I made for my friend. I'm going to do the tutorial for that. Um, I'm not to the point yet where I can make my own patterns with, with crocheting and with knitting, but I am getting close. Like the hat I made for Chuck, I started with a pattern and then very quickly abandoned it. Um, so I want to go in and try and do a a beanie, or not a beanie, I mean like the long beanie, just for myself, not like the Santa hat from hell pattern, but similar pattern, but not the, the yarns, and not as stressful as that was. So if I can do that, then I'll make my own pattern, my own tutorial for that, my own pattern, I can do that one, um, and then I'm getting to where with crocheting, I can almost start making my own amigurumi and all the stuffed animals and whatnot, so I'm, I'm getting close, I'm getting there, so. And, um, I don't really have any fun stories today. Um, I was trying to think of some, but you know, my mind's not working right. So anyway, what I thought was we can just do kind of an AMA. I mean, you know, get to know me. Any any random questions you want to ask, you know, about my childhood, about you know what instrument I played in band, you know what, you know, I mean, just it, it doesn't have to be serious. It, you know, it could be funny. It could be you know loopy, you know, or, you know goofy or whatnot. Just. Post some comment, some questions in the comments, and I will go through. And on my next several videos, I will um, work on answering them. I just, I just think it would be fun. Not necessarily like a twenty questions thing, because not set questions, but just you guys pick the questions and I'll answer them. Um, I, I just think it would be fun. You know, I'm loving the community that I found on YouTube with all the the crocheters and the the knitters and just you know all, all those little yarn heads. So anyway. You guys have a good rest of your Sunday, and I'll check in with you again here in a little bit. These guys are making it so hard for me to knit, because every time I get it out, they come and lay on me.